Okay, welcome back, here we go, the door. My gosh, you have to have a door in the miser technique as it evolves. And why? Because it starts, inter it starts expanding and growing this into a more human exchange. And it starts with the introduction of the door and that Sandy said, every single moment has a meaning all its own, a foundation of the miser technique. Every single moment ha has a meaning all its own and the technique is designed to get us so sensitive to all the moments going on and so he said, even a knock has meaning. What's the most, what's the most cliche knocks ever, right? Here's one, right? Right, we do that one. What's that? What's the meaning of that knock? That's a playful knock. The, you, 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 the, that's probably the most common one, right? Okay, but here, 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 like something like this. And so the, the person in the room who's doing an activity would then bounce up, go to the door and communicate the meaning of that knock. And they would begin to do the technique. Now there's more to this, but I just want to introduce this next step. Okay, so Svetlana, let's do that. I'm going to have you. Oh, actually, you could just sit there. You could just just sit there. At some point, Jules is going to knock, and we're going to you're going to begin uh, doing the technique off the first moment. I do think it's a quiet knock. You look sad. I am a little sad. I'm... You're a little sad? Yeah, I'm a little sad. What was your behavior, Jules? You're a little sad? I'm concerned. You're I'm concerned. concerned. Okay, good, 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 good. 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 Okay, have a seat. Go ahead and sit, sit right there, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, oops. So, you know, good work. Good work. She identified the meaning in the first moment. Let's just say she was wrong. Let's just say she said, you know, that was a, that was a worried knock. He goes, that was a worried knock? What would the moment be? You answer it. What would the moment be? Uh, that was a worried knock. That was a worried knock. It wasn't a worried knock. Or you think I'm incredibly wrong. Or anything like that. There, that's his behavior. Okay. So, so there's the introduction, the introduction of that. Now, we're also introducing the activity. Something that's compelling, difficult, and urgent. Well, if it's compelling, difficult, and urgent, she's not hanging out at the door with this dude. She's got something to do that needs to get done right now. And again, there's so much more. There's no way we can give you the entire technique here and all the bricks that support all this. Because at some point, there's a, the, the, one of the most important aspects of the first year training that happens in first session is the introduction of preparation. Preparation is our, our deliberate daydreaming, our ability to lock and load, our ability to fall into this imaginary world. And that alone is this huge chapter in the training. So we're gonna skip to that next. We'll talk about a huge leap forward. Here we go. What's going to happen is Lana is going to prepare on what she's doing, why she's doing it, and why it has to be done right now. Jules has come up with a reason why he's coming to that door. We want him to grow from a student in an acting class into a human being, to behave truthfully under these imaginary circumstances. So he's going to prepare on the other side of the door. There's a time limit. We give them about three to four minutes to prepare and to fall into their worlds, and then the exercise begins. So here we go. In 30 joules. That's more important to you. This is, this is what you need to yeah, shut I up. Need to, you don't, you're no, telling yeah, me to you're, shut you're, up you're, right you're now? ridiculous right now. You're going to just do ridiculous. makeup? No. It's not just... Stop it! You mean stop? You you're taking my mirror? Yeah, I'm going to take your I, mirror. I have to do this right now, You Jules? have to do it? No, you don't have yes, to do it. Yes, I do have okay, to do it. Okay, good. Have a seat right there, Jules. Sit right here. Now, so right here. now let's teach right away. Okay? Now, look. Look. Here. here. This, is, I'm gonna, this is important. There's a, 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 a lot of whatever word out there that the miser technique's all about screaming and yelling and fuck yous, right? Okay, now, as this builds and grows and progresses, it evolves and matures into what 
when the technique's done well as it evolves, you're gonna think you're seeing a scene or a play or, or life, actually, real human life. Is what it, and it's going to sound like human dialogue. Even right there, it sounded didn't sound like the repetition of, of two people sitting in a chair. Because Jules, Jules has a point of view. His job is to make a choice about her. He's coming here. He, what, what, who, who was she? Who is she and what'd she do? She was my mom's caretaker. And the last time she went to visit, she gave her the wrong meds and she passed out in the bathroom. Boom, boom, boom. So he's coming with that point of view. His job then is when that door opens is to leave the story in terms of the thinking about it, but ride the wave that that preparation created for him. And that preparation obviously created a wave of, of anger towards her. He has a point of view towards her. He has strong feelings towards her, right? But he's still doing the technique. One of the, one of the big screw ups that happens here, let's just do it. Let, 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 Let's, let's show you this done poorly. We're gonna just, we're gonna go right away. You're not gonna give you that long of a preparation because you don't need to because you're gonna do it horribly. Okay. 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 I, want you to, I want you to play story. Okay. Because what happens is people will make a choice. They, they, it's not a skit. It's not some improv. You're an airplane pilot. You're a stewardess. You're having an affair and she's down there like, you go, play. And it's not this skit, you know? Look, improv like Groundlings and Second City and UBC, they're incredible training grounds. They are, and the value of being improvisational like that is tremendous on all kinds of levels. But this ain't that. This is gonna turn you into that improvisational actor, but not improviser in terms of, because it's more surface, and it's not a skit. So this is one of the big misconceptions as well in the technique, and it's, I see this done poorly all the time. People play their story. They make it about them. It's not about you. Jules just did a good job of working off of her. Now let's show it done poorly. So just take about 30 seconds. Yeah. You know, maybe again, it's all going to be bullshit anyway. So let's just do it. Okay, so Anna, again, it's also talking about bullshit. You're not even going to prepare. You're just going to fall right into okay. that. Okay. That was like an angry knock. You think that's an angry knock? I think After what you did to my mom? Knock. You think that's an angry knock? After I what? have to go to work. You're going to work? I'm going to work. I'm you're going to go late. work? Yeah, you're going to screw up my life. I'm not going to screw up After your life. After what you did to my mom, you don't even care. Jesus. Okay, so that's perfect. That's funny. I have a seat, Jules. <laughs> Boy, isn't that painful? Yeah. Yeah. Right? I did not like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so what, what, what are they doing, right? They're missing moments. They're making it about them. They're telling stories. They're missing behavior. This is not a skit. It's not to play it out, right? It's to... It's to have, to ground yourself in this imaginary world. You've got something to do. What are you doing and why? I am preparing. I have been blacklisted from all the restaurants in the city because I am an illegal. And one restaurant had offered me a job and I forgot what day it was, so I'm late. Compelling, yes. Difficult, well, yeah, you know, you gotta get ready. You, gotta, you know, it doesn't have to be like, you know, lifting the building. Just difficult, difficult. Something to do that's physically involving. The more difficult, the better. And, and the final element is a sense of, a time element, a sense of urgency. If you've got an hour, it'd be casual. If you've got two minutes, it'd be like crazy. But it has to be realistic. And then Jules comes to the door, right? And here he was just playing story, making it about his, his mom and, and missing moments off her. That's not it. Okay, so one more point to make. Early on, she does not have a relationship. And this is a very important next chapter, next brick to the miser technique. In fact, that's the one we're gonna show you next. Right now, she's just got something to do. She's in her own world, independent activity. Sandy said it's called an independent activity for a reason. It's your world, here we go. You're not anticipating he's coming. You have no relationship. You're the one that has the relationship and you're just working off of whatever's coming, okay? Mm -hmm. But in the craft of acting, one of the most important elements is the earning of relationships. It's what it's all about. Every script, it's all about relationships, whether it's a film or a play or whatever. It's all about who you are, what you mean to be. And the more I earn that, then based on what you say to me, whatever you say to me, if you're somebody I respect and you say, hey, you're a shitbag, that's gonna do something to me. And if I don't have any respect for you whatsoever, and you say, hey, you're a shitbag, that's gonna do nothing to me. And so the more we earn who you are and what you mean to me, the more it's going to color the exchanges from our gut. Yes? Um, what if, in this one that we just saw, if she finished the activity like before he showed up? What would be the truth? She'd go. She's, she's, not do, she's not doing an independent activity at the Miser Studio. She's trying to learn how to consistently behave truthfully under these imaginary circumstances. And let's just say Jules took too long. He was just for whatever reason, just didn't know what the hell was going on. 
or whatever she had to do, she finished it quickly. What would you do? Leave, go you, to work. Go to work. That's exactly right, because she's not doing an exercise. She's trying to learn how to behave absolutely truthful under this imaginary circumstance. Does that make sense? So she would just take, she would leave, she'd go out the door. It, but, but he hasn't come in yet. So what? She's not anticipating he's coming. She's not waiting for him. She's going to get her job interview and to save her ass from getting deported. Period. 